today I'm gonna turn this into this. Hey, welcome back to Scott Rods. Dave here. I'm going to take a little break from the structural stuff I've been doing on the 36 Coupe and uh, as you can probably tell by the intro video I'm going to make the the rad, the radiator grill. So I've taken some time and I've tidied up as you can see. I now have actual clean workspace. And even the one over here I've cleaned. Look at this. The rest of the garage is still a disaster. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, I'll show you. I'll show you the the parts I'm going to be using and my vision of how this rad grill is going to look. So this is the rad shell you'll find on a 36 coupe. I'm not sure if it's the same in the sedan. It's definitely not the same that you would find on a 36 Chevy truck. I've noticed that. It's in pretty good condition other than the inside at the bottom there, which I'll need to just cut that garbage away and just, you know, weld on a little bit. Actually, you know, I'll just cut it away and make it smooth. I'm not going to need that anyway. So. Now I did find a brace that I must have cut off when I was dismantling stuff, which is pretty handy. So this sits in the inside there, because remember the fenders mount to uh, those holes there, which is also part of this. So that will keep it all, all rigid and stop any flex between the fenders. So that needs a bit of a clean up. Now, while I'm here, this is where your headlights attach. So instead of coming like on a bar, coming up and sitting there, they actually mount to the side like that. Now, as you can see, if I'm... Yikes! Oh, hold on, let me just adjust that. Should have saw that coming. Okay. So, as you can see... They're pretty high, which is fine um, for era specific, okay, because they wanted them quite high so that you could see the road ahead. But you know, we don't care about things like safety these days. <laughs> so my plan is to move these brackets down maybe two inches. I'm not sure if I'll go that far, maybe an inch and a half. So instead of sitting there, the lights will sit a bit there and it'll just give it a kind of sleeker look. Okay, so before, after, we'll see. Uh, that bracket there, uh, or mounting bracket, whatever it's called, that's fine. This one, however, is, it's broken. Someone has tried to glue it together. I don't know if they've used JB Weld or whatever. You obviously can't weld this stuff, but I would like that a bit stronger than just glue so I'll look into fixing that so for now I'll take them off uh, I'm not going to bother too much about cleaning all that up just now because all the work is going to be on the inside I'll show you in a sec so this is what the inside looks like these are your big uh, brackets for that uh, uh, sorry the headlight brackets the insides so, mm, might, I don't think I can really relocate this section because it's welded on. So maybe just have to make a new section for that. So I will probably just make a, basically just a square plate to stiffen that section up. Move it down the two inches if that's what I decide on. Same on that side. Now, the grill itself, I'm going to make a 
continual piece that goes all the way around there, all the way around there, back up, and joins there. So that will be one section that goes all the way around, and then all the horizontal, sorry, all the vertical strips will weld onto that. It shouldn't be too difficult, to be honest. I'm not going for uh, a total reproduction here, I just want a semi-decent looking grill. Now I'm going to use quarter inch steel rod. This stuff was surprisingly cheap. Each uh, 10 foot section was two dollars. Now I will need quite a lot because what I'm going to do, I'm going to put a section in the middle And then I'm going to use another section as a spacer and then weld another section down, another section as a spacer, next one down. So it will be quarter inch rod, quarter inch rod, quarter inch rod all the way around. So I've worked out I need about 18 sections per side. That is the plan. Let's clean up this and then make the, the big... Uh, mounting oval thingy. Oh, my assistant has arrived. Who are you? Are you coming to help too? Here he is. is. I have now removed the obstacles. Now I've noticed there's little uh, tabs all the way around that have bent uh, back the way for now. There. And so it'll sit in, it'll sit in that curve there, all the way around. There isn't one at the bottom unfortunately, so. Now, I will secure it in with these tabs for now. I don't imagine they're going to appreciate being bent back and forward many more times in their lives. So, probably have to make little uh, securing brackets. Shouldn't need that many, maybe two each side, one at the top, one at the bottom, should be fine to hold it in. Right, let's start bending some rod. So the first thing I need to do is take some measurements of the uh, circumference. Just roughly, I can always cut it down. Better too long than too short. Try 43 inches.
are fairly symmetrical now. And obviously these will weld together. Roughly like that. So I will clamp these into the shell uh, temporarily, tack that there, tack that there, and I'll probably add another uh, angle in there of the rod just to keep it all nice and square. Now that's the hard part done. So that is the top. That's the bottom. I don't know if you can see the shape there. So next thing I'm going to do is weld a rod in the middle, roughly there. Or well, not roughly, exactly, exactly there. Once I'm happy that that's all square, I will then make an angled section that goes in to there to join all that together and then start doing all the vertical rods. Fun times! Right, we're at the halfway stage, just the other half to go and then I'll be grinding round the whole circumference, make it smooth.
Right, so now I just need to chop off all the wee extra bits that are all the way around and then uh, grind a sort of curve all the way around it. There we go. Rough and ready. I suppose we better see if it fits. I'm not going to do this with one hand, so I am just going to hopefully insert it into the hole and clamp it on, see if it fits. Back in a sec. Not too bad. Needs a little bit of massaging at the bottom. I've got a bit of a gap there. Fairly straight. Let's see how it looks in the car, shall we? That will do nicely. Not too shabby. Right, that's all you get for today. We're pretty much all locked in, so I will be working on this thing every day. Uh, something cool happening tomorrow. Picking up a new toy. Excited! Anyway, thanks for watching. And if you haven't subscribed yet, I'm very disappointed in you. So hit that subscribe, it costs nothing. Thanks, see you next time, tomorrow, bye.